action and the warm up. I'm glad everybody is warmed up now and ready to hear about microbes. So, my name is Ariel Hurst. I'm faculty in the chemical engineering department. And today I'm excited to tell you about some technology from our lab to protect microbes from manufacturing stresses. And we've termed this technology farmer. So, the motivation for this is that currently, about half of the world's food supply comes because we use chemical fertilizers. They're fantastic for that, but they also contribute significantly to greenhouse gas emissions. They can destroy existing native microbiomes in the soil. And about 20% of them are actually wasted as runoff, which can, which can also damage ecosystems. So nature has already figured out how to make fertilizer on site. It does it through microbes. Microbes can cycle nutrients, degrade organics, and they even work with plants to help them grow. And this is why there's been significant commercial interest in the development of microbial fertilizer products. You can see all of the companies on the right, both large and small, have entered into this space. And we can see that there's a $4 billion market here with a 12% CAGR. The problem is it's still a very small fraction of the $180 billion fertilizer market. And the reason for this is that microbes are really difficult to produce at scale. So we know how to isolate them and study them, how to scale them in the lab and grow them even at the manufacturing scale in fermenters, but then to actually formulate them as a product and then deliver them where they need to go is still a challenge. And we have solved that challenge. We've developed a self-assembling inorganic organic hybrid coating it forms on the surface of microbes and protects them from manufacturing stresses. And one key stressor that, uh, or excuse me, so it coats microbes in seconds. We can see here that as the color turns blue, that is the coating actually forming on microbes here. Because of the ease of formation, it's readily integrated into existing manufacturing lines, and it's comprised of safe components that are already FDA approved as grass. And importantly, we can actually tune these components to protect against different stressors. And one of the key stressors in manufacturing is the freeze drying process. This is how we take things from a fermenter and actually make them deliverable. And we can see here on the left and right, we have the same number of cells in each image. However, only live cells are green. So it should be apparent that in the left one with uncoated cells, we see very few live cells, while in the right one, we have significant viability because of our coating. We can also protect against subsequent storage stressors. So now we have these freeze-dried microbes. We can store them at different temperatures for different lengths of time, but as we can see here, the viability of these cells decreases significantly as we increase the temperature beyond refrigeration. In contrast, our coated cells not only survive in these storage conditions, but thrive, enabling us to remove the need for cold chain transport. And so this is why our technology is going to beat out all of the competition. So one main method that people have used to formulate microbes is microencapsulation. This method is not scalable and is highly strain dependent. The second most prevalent method is cryoprotectant, which there's been no innovation in the space for nearly three decades. They can be integrated into manufacturing lines, but they're very limited in the protection they offer and highly strain dependent. In contrast, our coatings are scalable. They're universally compatible. We can protect anaerobes, aerobes, gram negatives, and gram positives. We can then take those formulated microbes and store them under ambient conditions. And our coatings also protect against additional stressors, including reactive oxygen species and UV light. Importantly, our coatings also cost significantly less than these less effective methods. Our coatings are two orders of magnitude less costly in terms of incremental cost than these other additives for uh, cost per acre to deliver these microbes. And so what this means is that we can now formulate microbes that actually survive processing. We can store them and transport them at ambient temperatures. And this translates into improved crop yields and a more sustainable agricultural ecosystem overall. And so currently, this technology is within MIT. We have a patent that will convert in October. 
We are going to then start fundraising to spin out and partner with these companies that have these really incredible microbial products to enable them to be delivered where they need to go at scale. We have the technological know-how and a fantastic team to make this a success. So we have expertise in non-model microbial organisms, chemical engineering, materials science, and process engineering. And with the help of the Desfonde Center and Leon, thank you, we've been able to grow our entrepreneurial expertise as well. We're also excited to say that as a team, we're participating in the Delta V Accelerator program this summer. And so what we ask of you is IP portfolio and regulatory advice about entering this space, as well as KOL introductions, connections to C-suite candidates, specifically CEOs, as well as potential connections to investors. And I invite you to come see our poster and talk to my wonderful team. Thank you.